Hey guys, welcome to all of you on our channel that is Achieve IES. So friends, in this video we will be discussing about the electoral bonds which were introduced by NDA 1 government to bring in transparency in electoral uh, financing. So in this video we will be discussing that what these bonds are, how effective they are in, uh, in bringing transparency and what are the issues associated with these electoral bonds. So let's start. So before starting let me tell you friends that uh, we have a, a test series for the purpose of CSC mains 2019 as well as for the purpose of 2020 CSC and uh, if you, in case you are interested to join you can join join us you can uh, uh, visit our website for daily important articles that we upload on our website uh, for the purpose of reading and also you can join our test series the link of which will also be provided in the description box so if in case you are interested uh, you will get the contact number in the description box so you can uh, use that contact number or mail to to uh, inquire about any your query if you have for the purpose of joining our courses so let's start our discussion friends so what is uh, what is electoral bond so these are Basically, the bonds which uh, which are brought uh, uh, by by NDA one government uh, to bring in transparency in electoral financing. So, what these bonds do? These these bonds will allow donors to pay political parties using banks as an intermediary. Uh, what was the practice earlier? Earlier there were uh, w uh, uh, anonymous, uh, we can say, donations to the parties uh, by the by the entities concerned, and uh, there was the, there was not no transparency in case of electoral financing. But now with these electoral bonds, banks as an act act as an intermediary. So these bonds, but these bonds, uh, though they are called bo bonds, but they they will not carry any interest. So uh, they will uh, they will carry the name of the pay and can be brought for any value in multiples of rupees 1000 10000 rupees 1 lakh rupees 10 lakh or rupees 1 crore so here in this video in next slides we will be analyzing that whether this these electoral bonds are truly transparent or not so rational behind them was basically to bring in transparency as claimed by the uh, government so electoral bonds they were introduced to promote transparency in funding as well as donation that 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 is that was received that are received that is received by the political parties for the purpose of uh, campaigning during election times or for uh, for other day-to-day -day activities so these bo uh, bonds but uh, the government says that it prompt donors to take the banking route to donate so where their identity will be kept captured by the issuing authority in simple words the identity of the donor will be captured by the bank so this will ensure as per the government the transparency as well as accountability so the previous system the government says of cash donation was from anonymous sources and it was it was wholly non-transparent so here the donor the donee the quantum of donations and the nature of expenditure all remained undisclosed but the question now here comes is that whether these electoral bonds are truly transparent so in this context friends uh, uh, the, let me tell you that there is no disclosure requirement because basically uh, the identity will be revealed to the bank uh, which is issuing the bond so that bank and the receiver bank only these banks will know the identity of the person and it is strictly prohibited to reveal the identity of uh, of the donor uh, uh, by the donor bank and uh, and by the receiver bank to any other entity except the RBI which in itself is responsible or subject to the central government's bill to know that means all the donations that will be given uh, using these uh, uh, bonds they will be the information about such donations will be available uh, with donor donor bank and receiver bank and the government can access that data so in this context the person uh, the person who will be paying uh, uh, that person the identity of that person uh, the central government will be knowing but apart from the central government no other entity has been uh, allowed allowed to access that this information uh, that is this information is not available to tax department or any other entity apart from government so this also helps in a way the ruling party because how if in, uh, now if if suppose I am uh, donating for a political uh, a certain political party or for that matter suppose I am I am funding the opposition party which is currently in opposition then uh, uh, if if uh, uh, if if uh, after elections the ruling party again comes into power then that party will be knowing that uh, that uh, who is the person who has donated to the opposition 
opposition party and who is the person who has donated to the ruling party so in that context uh, obviously i would i would not be uh, uh, kind of uh, i don't uh, I, i don't want to simple simply uh, uh, invite the we can say uh, anger of ruling party because it can it can harm my uh, my interests by going against uh, against my my uh, we can say uh, uh, demands or po uh, pol uh, policy expectations because i will uh, I, i would not have devote, uh, denot, uh, donated for the ruling party so in this context this uh, shows that the ruling party gets the major chunk so it is not that case that uh, only one party will get major chunk the party which be, which is ruling will will get the major chunk if for in if that may be congress or for that matter they, it 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 may be bjp so no information will be available to tax department or to any other entity apart from government and also electoral uh, bonds make this funding more opaque so it will bring what will it will bring it will bring more black money into the political system so electoral bonds cause a serious impact on transparency in funding of political parties so how it brings more black money because until now which uh, until now the money which is uh, donated uh, uh, anonymously uh, uh, in a, in cash format now it will be donated via we can say bank route so in this way the the black money will be channelized into the uh, in the uh, uh, we can say uh, legal legal course so in this way the black money gets converted into white money so also friends uh, but this all this argument is also not not, not that much strong because uh, uh, it is uh, uh, obviously the person who is donating to a particular party in cash he and the party will certainly not be disclosing the name of that person so it, it is not the case that uh, uh, now the cash donations will stop obviously they continue and they will continue for that matter the cash may go to congress or for that matter bjp or any other political party so in this way though it is said that it will uh, enhance the legal channel um, but uh, this this is not the case so obviously if a, uh, if a company is uh, uh, paying a political party through this uh, uh, legal channel uh, it will uh, round trip its uh, uh, the money it it has with the uh, in tax havens and thus thus uh, that money will be kind of uh, used as a pressurizing tool by the businessman could, uh, the, who could lobby for a change in policy and can legally funnel a part of the profits accruing from this policy change to the politician or party that brought it about so the amendments uh, Uh, thus in a way they pump black money for political funding uh, through shell companies also because uh, unchecked foreign funding can also take place because only uh, the banks will be knowing the identity or the central government will be knowing the identity so in that context it could lead to the influencing of uh, indian politics by the foreign co uh, companies so that transparency issue that that was the that was earlier uh, uh, that is when 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 the cash donations were prevalent it the that uh, the, that same issue continues to exist because uh, unless and until all the political parties are brought under the right to information act uh, right to information act and all the political parties are uh, are kind of mandated to disclose their funds to the tax department authorities uh, until that no 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 sort of uh, reform will uh, occur and obviously uh, the political parties are not under the right to information act then they are not required to disclose their uh, 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 turn over to the tax department. So for that purpose, uh, the tra uh, the transparency issue remains uh, remains there. So this is uh, all about this video, friends. If you like the video, then do ensure that you like it, share it with your friends, and also in case you are interested for more such articles, you can visit our website www.achieveies.co.in. And in case if you have any queries, you can mail us at achieveies21 at the red gmail dot com. And in case you are interested in our courses, then you can uh, contact us via this email id or via the contact number which will be there in the description box so thank you friends have a very nice day